That's the guy from the campsite. You're playing as Ellis, who is a uh, former policeman, uh, also has some military past. Uh, and you're trying to reach the search party and uh, to start the search with them. But unfortunately, you are late to the meeting point. Uh, you have to find them by yourself, but you pretty quickly you get lost in the, in the forest. Uh, and that's when the things take nightmare's turn. Uh, and you have to figure out how to get out of the wood. It's scary. It's creepy. We knew this, though, when you called it Blair Witch. What is the attachment of the game to Blair Witch, the movie? Well, this is our own take on a story. It's not based on a movie. It's not the recreation of the events of the movie. It's more of how Bluebird team sees um, what can happen in the same setting, in a Blair Witch universe, Blair Witch cinematic universe. Yeah, yeah that's basically what happened when Lionsgate reached, uh, reached to us, uh, or when we started this collaboration is that they gave us complete freedom uh, about what we, what we want to do in the setting, uh, just to you know, create our own original tale in the Blair Witch universe. Right. So what were the rules that were established in the Blair Witch universe that you're now following in the game? Well, you enter a forest and things go wrong, <laughs> as in the movies, right? Yeah, now, but they do, oh, sorry. Oh, does, does this game like take place at one point in time, or is there many different points in time where this happens? No, no, it's uh, one point in a time. It's okay. very uh, story-driven, so we want to tell our tale of what can happen in a Black Hills forest. Okay. Now, what is the importance, because you there was a lot of focus on the, the camcorder. What's the importance of the camcorder in this thing? Can you tell us or not? About what? The camcorder. What's the importance oh, the of camcorder. the camcorder? Yeah, yeah. 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 actually, uh, this is something that we thought about from the very beginning of the design process. Uh, we think of it as of a really iconic item in, mm -hmm. the, in the Blair Witch thematic lore. So we surely wanted to include it, but uh, after the first few tries, we decided that use the camcorder only to you know, show you some clues or show you what happened before is not enough, that it might be too boring for the players. So we wanted to resolve uh, some puzzles around camcorder. Okay. So basically you'll be able to fast forward or rewind your tapes that you will find along the way. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. Is, is there found footage in this? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. I think that brings a really exciting element here. I was uh, trying to dig into like what exactly did you take from the, the lore of Blair Witch and the found footage, the, the creepiness of the camcorder is part of it. Also, the, the, the sure. buildup and the suspense of just finding little clues that, that give you a piece of the bigger, scarier world beyond. Barb, as part of the writing team, uh, how did you make the player afraid? Well, it's not only about writing. If you played uh, Layers of Fear, Layers of uh, Fear 2 or Observer, you know that Bluebird team really pays attention to small details. Uh, even such things as flickering uh, um, flashlight can delay the moment when you learn what's in front of you, right? So also 
really, really small details can totally change the, the suspense, the pacing, and how you perci perceive the horror in a game. Uh, with uh, your team's experience in creating horror and creating atmosphere and scaring your, your players, what have you learned kind of works best? Like, what, what do you think is, is the best case scenario in your game that you're bringing for Blair Witch? <laughs> best case scenario? Well, uh, I think we are using a little of everything we did to this point and mixing with some new stuff uh, taken from what we learn in Blair Witch in, in the movie, right? So, uh, well, this fact of no f not knowing what's hiding behind the darkness, right? This is why the game is looks like it's very, very dark. It's an, in the night, and you basically know that something is around you, but you don't know. And this is pretty much how it works in the woods, right? So we really wanted to recreate this feeling. It, and we are going to learn over the course of the game what the evil is, what the cause of it is, or how much do you leave up to mystery? Like, when I finish this game, how much will I know? Well, you know a little more, but <laughs> without spoilers, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can't tell you everything, right? Because yeah. then it wouldn't be a mystery. Sure, don't, don't tell me what I'll know, but yeah. I will yeah. know why the evil is here. Maybe I'll know what happened. Oh, you will yeah, know you it. Enough attention. More, yeah. And I'm going to know that Bullet is fine. Bullet's going to survive. Bullet is actually telling the story. Speaking of that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's the narrator, right? Yeah, Phil is the narrator. While watching this, I see the, the protagonist, the main character, yeah. talking to the dog. Yeah. Now, does the dog play like a mechanical role in the game? Yeah, I mean, he plays two significant roles, uh, one of which is gameplay, the second one is story that maybe Vasha will tell you more about later. Uh, Gameplay-wise, uh, he's basically your best tool to find your way in the forest. Uh, Bullet was also a really huge uh, challenge for us when creating the game, because this is our first attempt to create a fully-fledged like uh, AI that you know, yeah, imagine, acts on yeah. itself. So it was a really tough challenge, but w I think we, we worked it out somehow. Uh, and basically, thanks to your bond with, with Bullet, because he's your, he's your dog, but he's also your like, really, really best friend. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be able to give him some commands, like steer him in a, in a right direction. Sure. But he's also going to have like mind of his own. So basically, even if you don't do this, he's also going to you know, try to help you.